Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PTIE. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move today, not only from a price action perspective, but I mean, if you look down here at the volume, by far the biggest volume this chart has had in quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one today, uh, over $100 million in liquidity. So all sorts of people trading it, you know, popping around everybody's uh, scanners and such. And in fact, I traded it myself today. Uh, but Things aren't looking extremely impressive right now. Sure, the bulls do still have an opportunity to, to build some sort of longer trend type thing. But I mean, after the price peaked out earlier this morning, it's been a pretty slow, just methodical bleed in the downside direction. Again, just because it's a, you know been a bleeding uh, over the relative you know kind of entire day outside of when the price was making these huge moves, um, it doesn't mean that this thing's totally over. I'm just saying that as far as kind of you know the appearance of the chart, things could be looking better. So let's kind of map out a couple levels of support. First level is what I would call the ideal level, and that's right here at the $4.65 mark. You can see several times this afternoon, the bears try to press down through that level, but to give the bulls credit, the bulls did finally seem to kind of stabilize the price there and build a good solid fortress uh, that just didn't let the bears get through. So 465, definitely that ideal area of support. The must hold level in my opinion, meaning you know if the price cannot hold above there, then you know this is essentially just a pump and dump, is down here at 425. Why do I say that? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, are gonna progress forward. The price isn't gonna go back to where they were. So that's why 425 is uh, important because if the price were to come down here, and again, not saying it'll even get tested, but let's say it does and then breaks through it and then continues to separate, separate, se separate to this portion of the chart, what would that be doing? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this channel that the price just broke out from. And going back, not exactly a sign of true strength. So for uh, 65, uh, ideal level of support, but the must hold level for sure is $4.25. So things are looking kind of shaky right now, but like I said, this could just be a, a consolidation after a big strong move, and maybe the price can put in that higher base and start to build a long overall uptrend. We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.